Hello, welcome to this episode of Hampton Roads Business Live. My name is Rory Graham and I'm your host and today we have the pleasure of having with us Marty Jansen from All Pet Stop Fencing. Hello. Hello. Uh, glad you were able to stop by. Um, you do uh, fencing to contain animals in mm -hmm. people's yards. That's what we're doing. Okay, yep. so can you... that. That's kind of a brief overview statement, but is there more to an overview? Yeah, we uh, we do underground electronic dog fencing, okay. um, which is not limited to dogs. We also do cats as well. Um, we've been known to do billy goats and pot-bellied pigs also. Is there a difference between a dog and a cat fence? Uh, no, same system, but the training style is different. You just put one in with attitude. <laughs> 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 no, what we do is um, we actually have um, what we call gentle steps. Um, it's a mode of training as well as we have in our receiver collars, the programming of the collar, we have gentle steps mode. So through all of our training, we have everything's done individually. So we don't do anything by breed anymore. It's basically by that individual dog. A lot of dogs are like you and I, even though we're, we have two legs, we walk upright very similar in many ways. Your dogs and your cats are just like us. We have different tolerances, different learning curves. So what we do is we involve a week-long training process. During that training process, we actually pick up on that dog's personalities, temperaments, you know, things that make that particular pet click, you know, entices them. Um, so what we do is we train the dogs to, or cats, that, you know, this area here and on your property is your safe area. This is where you belong. You know, you have plenty of room to move around, explore, get exercise. Um, and so we train the dogs to respect their boundaries and stay on the property. Okay. All right. Oh, well, you probably just killed five, five of my questions. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I know people that are watching this are, are probably thinking, does this really work? Absolutely. Because I mean, they're, they're kind of relying on it to actually safeguard their pet because they don't want the pet getting hit by a car or, or attacking someone or something. Mm -hmm. um, so, again, does it really work? It does work. We have a 99.9% .9 success rate. Mm -hmm. Um, and we also have a two-year, 100% money-back guarantee that it's going to work. Wow. Okay. So if for some reason, you know, Bosco runs out and we go through our entire bag of tricks to try and contain him and keep him on his property, and we say, you know what, it's not working, you get 100% of your money back. Okay. All right. And, and how does, the, does your brand differ from other similar things out there on the market. The Pet Stop brand is the leader in innovation for the pet containment companies um, or in the pet containment industry. We have over 9,000 different programs in our programming of the system um, to ensure safety and reliability. And manufacturing is actually based here in the U.S. So and that's one of the things that all Pet Stop Fencing is committed to giving our customers the safest and most reliable system on the market mm -hmm. with the best warranties and guarantees. Um, and you'll always be greeted with a friendly face, you know, familiar face as well, because we are family operated. All right, so, so I know that people, you know, your, your pet is part of the family. Mm -hmm. So one of the things is, does, does this system hurt the pet? I mean, yeah. I, I would assume it doesn't, but you have to ask. Um, no, it you used know, to be. Because you hear it's like a shock. You know? Right, and that's that's a huge misconception that a lot of people have. That's and why I, hear I ask it, it so you can yeah, clear it up. Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, over the years, I hear it all the time. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe you're shocking your dog. Well, the most important part of a system is in the training. If you take the time and you do the training the way you're supposed to, um, it's very humane and that dog may only receive a correction once. After that, it's up to him. It's a training reinforcement tool. Um, and, you know, and I know it's not, a, it's not a serious shock. No, not at all, not at all. If, 
if it was, I wouldn't be doing it. I wouldn't have my dogs on it. You know, and that's that's the the other difference between pet stop versus you know what you can get off the store shelves is we have our gentle steps training mode, and so it starts out with audible only, and the very first correction in training mode, you and I can't even feel it. It's very 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 light, and we work our way up to you know whatever catches that that particular pet's you know attention, where he goes, huh, what is this? This wasn't here earlier, but I heard this beep first. So then as they come in, they hear the beep first and they go, okay, I better step step back. You know, yes, there's there's something over there that I really don't like. But even if they get shocked, it's better than getting hit by a car. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so. absolutely. Right, okay. So how you mentioned training several times. Did you say earlier that training is like a, it doesn't take a, like a week? The training process for a dog to be well acclimated to the fence will take anywhere. Again, it's Depends dog dependent. Um, you know, so it can take anywhere from a week to two weeks. Um, but 90% of the dogs that we work with, with our Gentle Steps program, they pretty much catch on the very first day. So hmm. the owners, you know, the family member, the only thing that they're, they're responsible for is kind of a three days supervisory period and that's all they're doing is going out and playing and having a good time. And that's even for stubborn dogs. Even for the st stubborn dogs. Okay. <laughs> I got one of those. <laughs> so, uh, um, and, and I already asked you that it, this works with cats as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Longer training period? Again. Or, or easier because they don't move around. Cats much. are actually a lot easier. Yeah, they don't um, move there's much. not much <laughs> <laughs> There's not much involved with the cats. Um, they're pretty much, you know, w once a cat feels discomfort or they don't like somebody, they tend to stay away. Um, so once they hear the beep is usually all it takes for a cat, and they they tend to stay away pretty you know, well. You know, you always think, when you're thinking about this product, you always think about, you know, um, um, you know, outdoor fencing and all, but you can use this product indoors? Indoors as well. Okay, how does that work? Well, there's you know several different ways that we can handle the indoor solutions. Uh, we have our wireless transmitters, which you can set on countertops, on pieces of furniture. I have one of my own that gets put behind a trash can. You know, I've got a dog that likes to dive into trash cans, <laughs> so we've got one set behind the trash cans. Um, there's we actually go into the crawl space of the home, and we can wire off and block off certain rooms. You know, to keep dogs off the carpet. You know, excuse me. Um, you know, certain scenarios like that. Mm -hmm. um, so it all, it's all depends on you know your lifestyle where so you, you want can the dogs to go. So you can customize it then. Mm -hmm. All right. And you mentioned warranty before. Mm -hmm. What kind of warranty did you say? Pet Stop offers our Ultra Care Lifetime Warranty, which is a true and honest lifetime warranty, which covers manufacturer defects as well as incidental damages. Mm -hmm. um, incidental damages being when you have multiple dogs, they get out and they get roughhousing, the first thing that they grab on each other is the collar. So naturally, tooth marks, you know, they can poke holes in the receivers. Um, those are things that we can't, you know. Um, Do anything about. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so, and then, you know, obviously you have, you know, the collars themselves, they get chewed on, sometimes they fall off the dog. If you go out and you cut, you cut your grass, you run up with a lawnmower, as long as you have pieces to hand back to me, you never have to purchase another piece of equipment again. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, and um, so one of the questions I have down here is how much does a system like this cost? And I would imagine that's dependent upon what size right. area. Yeah, like I said earlier, you know, there's a whole bunch of different variables that affect the cost, but on average, anywhere between 800 to $2,000. Okay. Um, obviously, you know, if you have 100 acres or something like that, it's going to cost more. But okay. very reasonable when you start really shopping for fence, when you're considering fencing in your property for a dog or a cat. Um, you know, a lot of people, when they start fencing, they're, they're looking into options of containing their dogs or cats. Um, you know, they start shopping around for fencing, you know, whether it be wood fence, chain link fence, vinyl fence, um, you know, for their dog, 
mm, you kind of have a 50-50, you can flip a coin. Maybe the dog will stay in, maybe it won't. Um, there's always the you know, Virginia or Dominion Power comes by, checks the meter, and leaves the gate open scenario. Uh, the dog takes off down the street and unfortunately either gets lost or gets hit by the car. Um, they can dig under the physical fence. They can climb over the physical fence. I actually have a dog that can clear a six foot privacy fence, mm -hmm. no problem. I, I think my dog could too, but he doesn't know it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've seen him do a four foot fence uh, <laughs> and it was no trouble there. Um, but uh, luckily he was as shocked when he did it as, as I was right. and he didn't realize what he did and then he, got, he didn't like where he was, <laughs> he wouldn't come back. <laughs> so anyway, all right. Um, uh, so I only got a couple more questions here. All right, so let's just talk about the, the receivers. Um, mm -hmm. They're battery operated? They are battery operated. Okay. The actual battery operated receiver, battery life will last anywhere from six months to a year. Okay. So one of the longest, they are waterproof. So we have many systems where the wire goes out into like lakes, ponds, rivers. We even have them in the Chesapeake Bay. Really? Where their Labradors, Golden Retrievers can go swim in and play in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, so, is uh, is the receivers different receivers for different size dogs? Nope. We have our rechargeable receiver, which is actually the lightest and most programmable receiver, rechargeable receiver on the market. And then we have our battery operated receiver, which is just a little bit larger. Um, both weighing in, you know, a little over an ounce. All right, so <coughs> someone who's interested in this, what's the process? They call and you come out and measure the yard and they can give, give a us quote? a call, um, set up a time where we can come out and see, you know, what, you know, kind of walk the property, see what their concerns are, um, where they want the dogs or cats to be able to go or not go, and then uh, we'll be happy to write them up a free estimate. Okay. Well, is there anything I haven't covered that you? No, I think you got it. I got it? Okay, well, cool. All right, well, if you have a pet, dog, cat, billy goat, whatever, <laughs> that you would like to keep contained in, uh, in your yard or keep away from certain areas of the house, I didn't know that, um, then uh, give Marty a call at uh, All Pet Stop Fencing. The contact information is at the end of this video and it's also on the bottom of this page. And uh, I thank you very much for coming in and being thank our you guest for having today. Me. And thank you um, uh, uh, for, for coming by and, and I wish you a great deal of success. Thank you, thank uh, you. And, um, and uh, I uh, found that very interesting. I didn't know about the inside stuff mm -hmm. in the house. I bet that a comes lot of in handy. Don't. A lot of people probably use that. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Thank you.